So today, we're going on a road trip. I have at least a 10 hour drive to go to work. I'm headed back to uh, the pipeline. And I thought, well, we might as well see what we find on the road because I know there's a ton of old cars and stuff on this trip. So let's see what we can find. So we are in Westwald, BC right now. And this place is called Wild Rides. It's a little early, they're not open. I just thought I'd pull in, have a look. They got cool 50s diner, lots of old trucks. International. Pretty neat place. I think it's only open in the summertime. All right, moving on. Let's see what else we can find. This is Monty Lake. You can see the uh, effects of the forest fire in the background. Everything here got burnt. Houses, cars. Beautiful lake. So, if anybody's looking for a K5 Blazer, just come around this corner in Monte Creek, you'll see this green roof. That guy's got one sitting in the weeds. It's just sitting back almost, almost in the creek. I don't think he deserves it. Somebody should go buy it. to Kamloops. They have some interesting terrain here. Always wanted to ride these hills on a motorcycle. So we're in the town of McClure. Making a quick detour because uh, there used to be a really good stash of vehicles down here. There's a little fruit stand here. And there's the fire department. At one point, there was something really special hiding down here. I'm gonna go see if it's still around. Oh yeah, there's a ferry down here. Well, this isn't what I was looking for, but there's a nice find. How about a 78 Bronco? It's got a set of swampers, dual shocks. Rust actually doesn't look too bad. What a beauty. Right where this little tractor is. This guy builds a lot of old Toyota Land Cruisers. He's got a lot of Toyota stuff in there. I see some army looking ones back there. If you guys are looking for Toyota stuff. Might be some good finds in there. We are in the town of Little Fort. And where is it? Where is it? Right. Yeah, right here. Right behind Jim's Food Market. You go right behind this gas station. Now, if you guys want a cool experience, You just have to find it. There's a ferry down here somewhere behind the gas station. And if you take the ferry up into the mountains, about a half hour is a campground that's completely littered with classic cars for decorations. Here we go. There's the ferry. This ferry holds two vehicles and it's a cable ferry. That's it. That little dock fits two vehicles and it follows the cables across. And then it takes you up in the mountains and there's an entire campsite that's just littered with classic cars for decorations. Highly recommend you experience it if you're uh, a fellow car person. 
So now we are uh, making a detour in Little Fort. We're cutting across the mountains to head over to uh, 100 Mile House. I'm hoping to shave some time off my trip that way and it's a beautiful trip. One of those roads that I always wanted to do on a motorcycle. Did it in my wife's Mazda one trip and was absolutely flying. <laughs> Master rips. All right, we're leaving Little Fort. I don't know what's on the next section because I've only done this road once in my life. I mean, look at this road. It is perfect for motorcycles, hot rods, you name it. If you're driving a semi, it is just an awesome drive of windy, twisty turns everywhere, but the road is so nice and smooth. Lots of lakes, no phone service, <laughs> that's it, just riding or driving, it's kind of hard not to keep your foot out of it. So uh, things are getting a little ugly around here, <laughs> it's really smoky. I've gone 510 kilometers in the last couple hundred kilometers I've only seen a few Chevy panel trucks you know 40s and 50s I saw a bullet nose Studebaker a second gen Camaro nothing worth actually stopping and filming I did notice though that uh, as you get further north crew cab uh, square body Chevys are uh, laying everywhere you know, they use them for logging trucks and stuff, and they're still laying up here everywhere. Ooh, hey, there, there's an old one. That's like a 30s uh, Stove Bolt Chevy. I'm somewhere between uh, Quinnell and Williams Lake right now. But yeah, I'm uh, headed to the, uh, headed right to the heart of the forest fires. <laughs> That's looking ugly. It's gonna get worse as I go, too. Pull over for this one. That is just spectacular. I see stacks out the back. It's got uh, dual steering stabilizers. Look at the big snorkel system out the hood and up front. Looks like there's a bird living inside of it. <laughs> That's just awesome. Got a spot right up here we gotta check out. I see old cars. It's a wee bit smoky. We are in Hickson. Just outside of Prince George. And I don't know what this is, but uh kind of remember. Oh look at that, we have a wrecking yard full of old cars. Oh, there's a jackpot. I see square body suburbans. Look at all the fun stuff here. Look at the wagon. Lloyd's Classic Auto Parts. Buy, sell, and trade. 250-998-4636. Yeehaw. Cool stuff is still out there. I was starting to get worried. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of cool old jalopies in there. Nice spine. Man, that little jalopy. There's been a few of those just randomly sitting on the side of the road. Oh, you know what else I just passed? Uh, the turn off to Fort St. James. They have world class chicken racing. Huh, who would have thought? That'd be neat to see. So I'm at the end of my destination. I've put on 886 kilometers today and the whole trip I've been wondering where's all the mud boggers? Where's all the big monster trucks you used to see up north all the time? Everybody had them. And right at my last turn off, what do I see? Dave's Tire. Great big mud bogging Chevy with tractor tires. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Dave's tire, you're awesome. You just made the ending of my trip perfect. So I'm in camp now, you guys. Could be here for a month. I'm not sure. So who knows what's coming out for videos next.